So, you want to create a pixel art present? Well, go ahead and squint your eyes. It'll look pretty blurry. Hey guys, one by Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back once again in a sprite, taking a look at pixel art. Yes, I know pixel art isn't just blurry pictures. It's a joke. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get started today. We're going to go ahead and grab a black color so I can just start off with a base of something. And we're just going to click up here, probably about three yep, three pixels away from the top. I'm going to canvas 32 by 32, by the way. I'm going to make like an isometric present. So we're going to do something like this and then click about right there. Is that, is that also? No, that's four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four away. Uh, and then we'll just go down here. I'm not too worried about, um, not too worried about, dimensions at this point I'm just trying to get it down you know I'm um, trying to make sure that it's even so instead of having a line that looks like this you know where there's like one the obviously you can see there's one pixel here, then two then one then one then two then one then two then one that's very awkward so instead I'm gonna try and keep it consistent and make it so that's two pixels all the way across so by the way I didn't even I didn't mention uh, if you click and then hold down shift you can create straight lines you can, you can create straight lines. So there you go. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing over here. So we're going to create two uh, lines like this and then go up. Uh, and that is directly across from that. Yes, it is. All right. And we can go straight up right there. That's also directly across. Yes, it is. And then we'll just meet them back up. So now we have a nice little isometric cube here. Um, and what I want to do is this even one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is even. Wow. Awesome. By eye. Cool. Um, now, I want to go ahead and fill this in, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a red color, something like this, because I want a red present, nice little red present. I'm, I'm going to add a little bit of pink in there, so it's not as harsh, just a little tiny bit. Um, hit G to bucket fill, and I'm going to bucket fill all of that in, and we're going to go ahead and drop the color down, and then add a little bit more pink to it. Uh, and then we're going to use this as a color for the, actually, I'm going to go down a little bit more. Uh, yeah, about right there. And then hold down shift, and then we'll create this as the secondary layer um, to our uh, present. And this is going to go right there. All right, there we go. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, and after that's done, we're going to go ahead and fill this in by hitting G to bucket fill that. So now we have something that looks like this. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab an even darker, darker color. And we're going to use this as a secondary color to oop, no we use this as a secondary color to kind of depict where the line of the box is starting and stopping so it's not fully black um oh, i'm gonna hit uh oh sorry no i i'm gonna i to eye drop this black color and then just put one single black pixel right there um on both of those sides there um and actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend this out so i'm gonna i'm gonna pull this up like this and then i'm gonna probably put a pixel a pixel right there as well and then we will grab this red color again with the eyedrop tool, which is once again, I, and then we'll do something that looks like that. And I'm going to have to pull this up as well. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to hit M to grab the box select tool. And I'm just going to pull this up, uh, like that about two pixels and then hit select, uh, no, that's not hit select and then hit B to go back to the brush and then just repaint those black pieces. I'm going to change, I'm going to E to go to the eraser tool and just change my pixel size down, erase those pixels that we don't need, and then I'm going to fill this back in. Um, uh, we, I messed this up. What am I doing here? Um, we need to make sure this is two by two everywhere except for this last one that needs to go like that. Right, well, we can leave it like that, actually. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll do like that. All right, cool. So you want to make sure it's once again consistent so that you don't have like one Z lines going down. Obviously, we have to do something a little different right here, but that's fine. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and grab this pixel and erase that one as well. So something like that, which looks fine. Now we're going to have to go ahead and drop down this piece because it does not look like it's a cube, but that's fine. So we'll just drop that down, hit select none. Grab the. I keep doing that. I keep hitting P and it's opening that dialog. Um, grab this red color again. Hit G to fill that in, and that looks pretty good. If I do say so myself, I think I want to go ahead and I'm gonna keep doing that. Oh my god! It's it's. I used to do this all the time. Holy, what I just hit. Um, I think I might want to pull this down. Yeah, yeah, we'll pull that down. Something like that. Um, and then I will actually go ahead and we'll start shading some things up. So, first of all, I want to go ahead and add in. A lighter color on top of the box so it looks like it's highlight up here I'm gonna I drop this by hitting I and then just lightening our color a little bit and then going from about right here holding down shift and then creating something looks like this that goes all the way up 
There we go. Hit G to bucket fill all of that up there. So now it looks like this bo this box has a top side, which looks really good. I'm going to go ahead and grab a bright, solid white color for the top piece. And we're going to, oh no, we're going to hit B to box select. And I'm just going to hold down, um, I'm going to hold down shift and we're going to find, there it is right there, that correct angle. And we're just going to go across that edge, maybe with three thickness, maybe four thickness. Uh, four looks good. We'll do four. Four thickness looks good. And something, maybe like, maybe with five. Maybe we'll do five. Uh, no, we'll leave it. Leave it the way it was. All right. Um, there we go. That looks better. All right, cool. So we'll do something like this and make sure that it looks proper. Um, and then we will drop this color down and we'll add a little tiny bit of blue to it. Um, and we'll make it like a lighter gray so we can go down the side of the box here, right? So it looks like it's actually wrapping around. Um, and then we'll e have an even darker blue, uh, darker color with a little bit more blue in it right here. And I'll go actually, I'll actually move all of this over by one. So it looks like it's actually indented into the, the, the box here. Um, and on the side, I want to have this be a highlight. So I'm going to select this lighter color and then make it a little tiny bit lighter than, than that color itself. And then put this on the edge. So it looks like the edge is like, you know, catching light or something, um, which looks fine. Or actually, you know, it should probably actually probably be darker. So I'm going to grab the darker color and then drop that color down. What does that look like? Yeah, I think it would probably, yeah, it would look like that instead. Um, all right, cool. Maybe a little bit darker. Nope. Like that. Yeah, yeah, it looks much better. Okay, I'm much, 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 much better. Um, and I'm also going to... Uh, do I want to do that? No, I like the way that it is. It's fine. Um, now, one of these edges is going to have to be darker and lighter. So I'm going to pick this right-hand side. We're going to go ahead and make this one a little bit darker. Um, so I'm going to drop the color of this down a little bit. And then we're going to color half of this in by holding down Shift. And then hitting G to bucket fill that. Same thing with this up here. So I'll grab this, darken it by a little bit. Um, B to go back to the brush, that G to fill that in. So now it looks like this has an edge to it, which is nice. And then I'm going to go ahead and because this is too harsh, I'm going to grab this color right here and then hit G, all right, B, sorry, to uh, add in this little edge right there. So it's a little bit softer of an edge. And we'll do the same thing on this side as well. Hit I, I'm going to grab this color, lighten it just a little bit. And then we will go ahead and put these on the edges just so it's a little bit softer of an edge. Actually, wait, no, we need to do the other way around. It needs to be on the actual pieces. So like this, there we go. Um, and that makes everything look a bit softer, which looks much nicer. So that's probably going to be it for our present. You can always do another bow around this side, um, but I don't really want to do that. I like with just the one solid ribbon all the way around. Um, I really like the way that looks. You can do a lot of different things with pixel art. That's why I love it so much. You can even shade this bottom piece by grabbing this and then just doing something like this on the edge and the same thing, but with this color over here. So grab this one, hit B, and then do the same thing with this side. Just really cool stuff. Same thing with this bottom piece. Uh, yeah, but that is going to be it for today's tutorial. Um, we can even add a little bit of a highlights with the yellow just really quickly. Um, something like this on the edge like that, you know, just so it looks like there's a, like a brighter light coming from this way, maybe. Um, but you don't have to do stuff like that, of course. But that is uh, very cool. I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.